Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In our previous videos, we have seen some set of loaders. In our today's video, we are going to see a simple spinner loader animation by using only HTML and CSS which can be used in your website. So let us start. So first, as usual, you can see this. This is our Visual Studio Code and here we are going to write our simple HTML snippet. So to write a simple HTML snippet, all we have to do is HTML5. So after this, I'm going to create a division, but I'm just going to add a class called as spinner. So here we have a division. In our styling section, I'm going to style that spinner, spinner, width of that spinner, let's add of about uh, 25 pixels, height of about 30 pixels, okay, for the radius. 50% and before doing that let us link our HTML and our CSS so that we can get the exact content how it is going to show for the top let's just check eight pixels solid black so this is our circle that we are going to get. This is our spinner that we are going to get. I'm just going to increase the size of the spinner. Say for about 50 pixels. And the height of the spinner for about 50 pixels itself. 50 pixels. So this is our spinner. Save it. Border radius we have given it as 50%. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to cut this edge of the spinner so to do that we'll just do it as border top border top to be 8 pixels solid black now we can see that our spinner is having a, a sharp edges towards the ends and the thickness is there in the middle next i also want the same thing on the left side and on the right side and i don't want it is towards the bottom so i'll just make it as left here and towards right so this is our spinner and i don't have it only here that is below for the body i'm going to style the body first margin should be zero padding will be zero Position. Let me make it in the center. From the left side, I wanted a 50%, and from the top, it should be at about 50%. Done. Transform it. Translate minus 50%, comma minus 50%. By doing this, it is going to locate itself in the exact center of the page. But if you are just going to do this, then it is going to locate with respect to this document that is the white color that you can see, it is going to arrange it with that respect. But when you are going to give transform translate, it is going to locate itself at the center of your page exactly. And after locating, I'm just going to make it as 100 so that I'll just make a big spinner and this as well I'll give it as 100 and this one we can just increase it up to 16 pixels this as well to 16 pixels and the background here I just give it as black and this one will make it as white FFF. Now we are going to get a beautiful loader. This one, I'll just take it as FF00. Zero zero. Yeah. And this one will be FFF. Now you can see the half, the sharp edge here, and we need to add the animation so that it is going to swirl around or it is going to spin around. So to add that, I'm just going to add animation. So here in the animation, first I'll just give it as spin 0.7 second. 
and this should this should go on infinitely that is it should not have any break and then how it should move on it should move in the linear pattern to make the animation work we need to add the keyframes then here we need to give the name of the animation and inside this the animation to just give it as transform rotate but it has to rotate to certain angle so the angle that it has to rotate is 360 degrees okay it is rotating in the x direction i don't want it only in the x direction but i want it to rotate completely so this is the spinner how we are going to get it when you want to load or when you want to add it as a loader in your web let us see how it is going to look let us just add some heading tag over here h1 simple spinner simple spinner loader animation loader animation using html and css save this whatever the color will be there for the text let us give it to be white so you can see this is how the loader is being given to you or you can also uh, style it separately here cut it out paste it all right so let us see this in our complete let us see this in the live server this is how we are going to get the spinner if you want the spinner to be here at this end you just have to remove that 50 50 percent and you can get it here at this end so we can also have a question that by using translate and uh, translate minus 50 and minus 50 I had told that it is going to get in the center but as you can see that it is side here why is that problem the problem is because we have added this h1 if you are going to remove this h1 and see then it is going to give that loader in the exact center so this is how you are going to get your spinner so if you want that also to be in the proper center then you have to arrange it or you have to also give the same styling to these as well then the spinner is going to be there at the right position so this is your spinner meet you again in the next video till then keep learning bye